Hello everybody, welcome to this very special episode of Science of the Store. To celebrate the game's launch, I've decided to dedicate a series of episodes to basic game mechanics. In this first installment, we will crack some numbers about one of, if not the most important aspect of Heroes of the Storm, Experience Gain. Unlike other MOBAs, experience is the only resource that you can farm to power up your character throughout the game. Therefore, having a deep knowledge of its mechanics is imperative to succeed. You can already find basic concepts about how experience works in this game on YouTube and other websites, but in typical Science of the Storm fashion I will take it one step further, breaking it down to in-depth calculation on how much experience each source will give you at any given time and giving you an idea what is best for your team when it comes to outpowering your opponents. We'll start off with the basics. First of all, experience rules do not change between battlegrounds, so the content of this video will apply to all maps currently in game. Secondly, no matter how far you are into the game, enemy structures will always give your team the same amount of experience. These numbers are 400 experience points per tier 1 tower, double that making it 800 XP per tier 1 fort, 650 for tier 2 towers and 1300 experience points per tier 2 forts aka keeps. These experience points are awarded to the whole team even if there are no friendly heroes in range, like when structures are destroyed by minions or mercenaries. Also, not everyone knows that your team gains experience passively during the game, no matter if any hero is in range to provide experience given by minions or not. This makes it hard to pinpoint how much XP is needed exactly to reach each level, since the XP contribution tab will not count 100% of the experience that your team has gained. Now we can start talking about minions XP. We all know that a minion wave is composed of a total of 7 minions, 3 footmen, 3 archers and 1 mage. These different type of minions also award different amounts of experience. Talking about the very first wave, we can see that melee minions yield 70 experience points each, the mage one yields 62 and the archer 60. These numbers scale up with every other wave of minions, as we will see in a moment. Right now, the most important thing to keep in mind is that even the very first minion wave awards more experience points than a tier 1 tower, making it top priority for your team to have at least one hero on each lane soaking up those points. As I mentioned, minions award more experience points as the game progresses, with a very specific increase every other wave. We already saw that the first wave awards 452 points, and so does the second one. The third and fourth wave will see an increase of 11 points total, granting the team 463 XP. Fifth and sixth will see the same growth, as they are worth 474 points each. Knowing that minions start spawning at 4 seconds into the game and every 30 seconds from there on, we can calculate exactly how many points each minion wave will award at any given time and how far into the game it will need to be for them to grant more XP than other towers or forts. This concludes part 1 of this Science of the Storm experience special. Stay tuned for part 2 where we will see how to effectively keep gaining those points throughout the game and where do mercenary camps and hero kills fit into the equation. I am Sangler, the Italian gamer, signing out. Thanks for watching!